Makara, who will tell us about the circle and the party order. Uh, okay, <clears throat> uh, it's a great pleasure and, uh, and great honor to participate in the Alfors uh, Vers Colloquium. And as Peter Isinski said last time, so me too, I spent most of my nights uh, in graduate school uh, reading uh, the papers of uh, Alfors and Bers. Um, but uh, uh, we didn't have copy machines at that time. <laughs> uh, so thank you uh, very much uh, for the invitation and uh, special thanks to our host. Thanks, Yari. Um, so um, I'll talk about um, so uh, joint project with uh, uh, Senior Plea. And uh, uh, we studied uh, quadrature domains. Quadrature domains play uh, some role in various areas of mathematics, in particular Hilischer flow, logarithmic potential theory with external field, more recently in Coulomb gas models. Uh, and we used uh, um, uh, the dynamics of the Schwartz reflection to prove something about uh, so quadrature domains. Uh, and then uh, we realized that uh, um, uh, this dynamics uh, of, the, uh, of the Schwartz reflection is an interesting object in itself. Uh, besides, it's very uh, Alfors Bers uh, type of mathematics. Uh, so that's uh, why I'll be talking about this. So let me start with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, exp uh, explaining what quadrature domains are. Uh, and in particular, uh, we'll start with quadrature identities. Uh, unit disk, so D is uh, the notation for the unit disk. It's a quadrature domain because there's a mean value property. If you want to compute the, uh, if you have an analytic function in the unit disk, want to compute the, uh, uh, the integral, uh, area integral of this function, all you need to do is to take the value of this function at zero. Uh, the second example of the quadrature domain is a cardioid. Uh, it's given by the equation uh, um, uh, so the definition is, uh, is given here and uh, to compute the area integral uh, over uh, the cardioid you need to know the value of the function uh, and the derivative of the function at zero. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so here's the definition of the uh, uh, of Schwartz function uh, of a quadrature domain. So uh, suppose we have a domain U in the uh, rim, on the Riemann sphere. So C hat is a uh, complex plane plus infinity, uh, but uh, we assume that infinity is not on the boundary. Uh, the domain can be bounded in the uh, well complex plane or unbounded. Uh, uh, so it is, a, uh, uh, this domain is called the quadrature domain if there is, exists a continuous function, the Schwartz function S, uh, in the closure of the domain, uh, uh, which uh, is uh, holomorphic um, in uh, uh, U, in the domain U, and on the boundary, uh, the, uh, the function is equal to z bar. So I said uh, holomorphic in the sense of the mapping to uh, the Riemann sphere, uh, so you can use the term meromorphic. Uh, and uh, the last line on this slide is the explanation that if you have a Schwartz function, uh, then uh, by residue theorem you have a quadrature identities. Uh, so what is the Schwartz reflection? Uh, we'll define Schwartz reflection as uh, the complex conjugate of the Schwartz function. So usually the term Schwartz uh, reflection is used uh, locally for a local reflection. If you have a, a real analytic curve, then locally you have a reflection in this curve. 
So it's an anti-holomorphic involution which, is, uh, which fixes the points on the curve. But now we are in a global situation. Uh, so um, uh, the, uh, by definition of the Schwartz function, so we have uh, uh, its complex conjugate is an anti-holomorphic map which is constant, which is an identity on the boundary. Uh, uh, it helps to know that uh, boundary of a quadrature domain is a uh, real algebraic curve up to a uh, finite set of points and uh, the possible singularity where the curve is not real analytic are only of two types and there are only uh, finitely many of those uh, 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 singular points. So the uh, singular points can be cusps or uh, double points. And uh, the picture uh, illustrates uh, the, uh, so what cusp means, so cusp means uh, precisely, oops. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, this is a ma magnified view of the boundary at this point, so you have uh, you see two cusps and uh, one double points, and uh, quadrature domains may only have these types of singularities. Uh, and the, now the main uh, message uh, uh, is that um, uh, Schwartz reflection. I use the uh, well letter sigma uh, for Schwartz reflection. So sigma, the Schwartz reflection, is a uh, well is a hybrid. Uh, so it's a reflection near the boundary of uh, the domain and uh, it behaves like a rational function away from the boundary. So it's a hybrid. Hybrid is, uh, you know, it's uh, like Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a hybrid of Cabernet and Sauvignon. So um, um, the very... Uh, Assume, well, uh, the easiest case uh, to understand quadrature domain is the case of simply connected domains. Then we have a Riemann map, and uh, the domain, uh, a simply connected domain is a quadrature domain if uh, and only if uh, the Riemann map is a rational function. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, so uh, cardioid is precisely. Um, uh, the image of the unit disk uh, and uh, uh, so this polynomial, quadratic polynomial, and uh, also let me introduce an unbounded quadrature domain. Uh, so U is the image of the exterior unit disk. Uh, so uh, use capital delta for the exterior unit disk uh, on the Riemann sphere, and uh, F is, uh, a, is a rational function uh, of degree three, and uh, below is the picture of the deltoid. Uh, uh, so this will be the main uh, heroes of the talk. So the cardioid appears as a prominent feature in the Mandelbrot set, whereas uh, the deltoid uh, uh, it plays a similar role in the uh, Mandel bar set. So the locus of um, instability, structural instability of the uh, dynamic z bar squared plus c. Uh, uh, well, also we can uh, extend uh, the uh, definition of a, a Schwartz function by considering uh, these joint unions of uh, quadrature domains. Uh, so for example, in the first picture, so you have three circles, so the exterior circle and then two little circles. They're all disjoint and then the shaded area is what we call the droplet. So the uh, name uh, is reference to the Coulomb gas models. I will not be talking about this. Uh, but uh, this picture with the circle suggests that uh, Schwartz reflection would give you a reflection group. And uh, the second picture is uh, uh, we take uh, uh, the exterior circle and a cardioid, right? And the droplets is shown here. So we can uh, reflect in the circle and uh, reflect in the cardioid and see what happens. Uh, 
Uh, finally, uh, let me mention that uh, um, uh, there's uh, 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 that uh, this or uh, well, uh, uh, such thing as or uh, Hilisho flow uh, 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 and uh, under Hilisho flow, not only quadrature domains uh, remain quadrature domains. Uh, but also uh, we have preservation of uh, quadrature identities. Um, so uh, hilly show flow, if you, well, if you are in analysis, you know what it is. So it's the boundary of a domain moves uh, with velocity proportional to the gradient of the green function. And uh, hydrodynamically, uh, so this is uh, uh, so the interface between uh, two uh, uh, fluids of uh, different viscosity, uh, and um, uh, if uh, you don't know any of this, so in geometry, so think of like a Ricci flow, but it's a different from Ricci flow, but still, uh, so the formation of singularities is the main part of the, uh, of the story. So uh, I'm mentioning this only uh, uh, for the following reasons. So, uh, 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 so the uh, Mm. Uh, if you apply uh, a Hilly show flow, so you uh, still get a quadrature domain, Schwartz function, uh, but you can destroy uh, the singularities instantaneously. And that's what uh, uh, important. Also, if you look at the uh, uh, bottom picture, so uh, uh, here you have the union of quadrature domains. So if you, uh, again, apply the Hilly show flow, then you obtain a quadrature domain of high connectivity. So uh, then the, all these uh, tan tangent points disappear, you get unbounded quadrature domain. So uh, that's uh, what uh, I wanted to say. Uh, okay, so now uh, I'll turn to uh, uh, examples. So I'll have three examples uh, to discuss this, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the dynamics of the Schwartz reflection. And the first is uh, uh, the case of the deltoid. So, and, uh, so that's the, uh, once, uh, uh, once again, the definition of the deltoid. Uh, and, uh, 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 and then we'll be considering uh, 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 the reflection in the deltoid, so the Schwartz uh, reflection sigma. Uh, and um, uh, well, and it's not difficult to work with uh, 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 sigma because, uh, uh, so we have conformal, explicit conformal map, and then uh, so you can, express uh, this uh, reflection in terms of the conformal map. So in particular, at infinity, uh, 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 so the quadrature domain, so this is the where the Schwartz reflection is defined, is the complement of the deltoid. The deltoid is the droplet, uh, but the Schwartz reflection is in U. U is the unbounded domain uh, here. Uh, so uh, at infinity, uh, it, uh, Schwartz uh, reflection uh, uh, has a super attracting fixed point, uh, a critical point, zebra squared. So it behaves like zebra squared over two uh, near infinity. Uh, this is seen from conformal map representation. And uh, also, uh, uh, sigma has no finite critical points in U. Again, this seen from the uh, form of the conformal map. Uh, so now the, uh, here's the claim uh, that if we consider, uh, okay, so uh, 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 the green uh, 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 curve is the boundary of the deltoid, then uh, uh, when we apply, take the pre-images of the deltoid under the reflection, so we get three red uh, uh, triangles. Uh, so I say, uh, if we consider the Schwartz reflection outside of this uh, hexagon, red hexagon, so that's the uh, uh, claim. So if we consider the uh, uh, sigma restricted to the pre-image of U, uh, so then it, this extends to a, a map uh, uh, to cover of the Riemann sphere, which is topologically equivalent to the polynomial z bar squared. I will use the term polynomial for polynomial with complex conjugates. So z bar squared is a polynomial for me. Uh, 
so to, uh, to, to see this uh, 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 well outside of the uh, uh, curve, so we have a two cover, and then uh, inside, so you these three uh, uh, red triangles are mapped onto the deltoids, so that's a three cover. So you need to uh, cut out this part where you have a three cover and glue uh, two cover, right? If you can see the hexagon, the boundary of this region uh, is mapped uh, as a two cover onto the boundary of the deltoid. So you perform this simple uh, uh, surgery and obtain a, a topological, a topological polynomial. It's much uh, diff more difficult to, uh, to uh, show that, uh, uh, so this topological polynomial is equivalent to a polynomial. Uh, and I really don't know how to do this uh, well in, in a direct way. Of course, if you uh, run a Hilishoff flow a little bit, so then you uh, eliminate cusps, therefore you get some room in taking the pre-image between the deltoid and its pre-image, so you, you are in a uh, Duadi Hubbard situation in polynomial-like maps, and then you can uh, do quasi-conformal surgery. Uh, in this case, you have to go, well, as some people call it trans-quasi-conformal, but again, I don't know how to do this directly. So the result will follow from conformal removability of, uh, of uh, um, uh, the scene, well, the, 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 the set that I'll define right away. So we'll continue, uh, um, um, okay, so we'll con uh, con uh, 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 so that's the first step of the construction. So we reflected, uh, considered the pre-images of the deltoid, and now we'll take the pre-images of these pre-images, and so on. And, uh, uh, and we call these pre-images tiles. And uh, the important thing is that there is no ramification of the tiles because the only critical point of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, of the Schwartz reflection is at infinity. So as long as we are in the finite plane, so we get uh, tiles, uh, 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 so no ram uh, ramification of tiles. And then, uh, uh, so that's the notation. So uh, it's um, uh, convenient to exclude cusps from the tiles, uh, 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 so we'll, uh, uh, from the deltoid, so I'll call, call it K0. Then the pre-images uh, uh, of, uh, of this will be called tiles, and they don't ramify, as I explained. And then the tile set will be the union of all pre-images. And the residual set is the complement of this, and this is where all iterates of the Schwartz function, uh, uh, Schwartz reflection are defined. And uh, in particular, the base For this. Uh, and then, the, in particular, the basin of attraction to infinity will, uh, the points there, so will they will go to infinity rather than they land on, a, uh, uh, on the deltoid. So it's in the residual set. So we have two open sets, uh, the tiling sets and the uh, uh, basin of attraction to infinity. And also we have a singular set, uh, uh, the uh, the closure of the pre-images of all cusps. Uh, so that's the, the, the picture, so you'll see the tiling. Then you see this uh, uh, yellow curve, which is the closure of uh, all pre-images of the uh, all cusps. And uh, uh, the exterior of this uh, consists of the basin, so that will be the basin of attraction to infinity. Uh, and so uh, the theorem here is uh, that uh, the tiling set, the basin of attraction to infinity, and this closure of the cusps, so they are all disjoint, they, they uh, uh, present uh, decomposition of the sphere, uh, and the gamma is, this yellow curve is a Jordan curve, and this gamma is conformally removable, and, uh, and uh, in fact, the uh, tiling region is a joint domain. So I'll uh, tell you what uh, conformal removability is. So it's uh, when you have, if you have a homeomorphism of uh, the sphere, which is conformal, uh, 
uh, everywhere except on this uh, set, uh, then uh, it extends to a conformal, to a Möbius map with a complex conjugation. And um, uh, so John uh, domain uh, means uh, half, uh, so half of uh, quasi these conditions. Uh, and, uh, um, and then Peter Jones can recognize his own theorem, actually, here. Uh, so uh, all I need to say is that the dynamics near the cusps is very much, is pretty similar to parabolic dynamics. And uh, that was uh, well, Peter with uh, Leonard Carlson and Yoko Serum, so that we have John domains. And, and this is basically the same uh, situation here. Um, okay, so now uh, I want to introduce uh, a group structure in the uh, uh, tiling sets, so it's pretty clear. Uh, so uh, we can, um, uh, well, let's just uh, see that the picture is completely uh, isomorphic to, uh, to um, um, the modular reflection group. Uh, so what's a modular reflection group? Uh, uh, I'm not sure if I use uh, uh, the right terms, so, but that's what. Uh, so we, uh, 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 we have three uh, 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 tangent circles, so a left picture. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, it's precisely the situation that uh, we have. So this, uh, the circles are quadrature domains, the complement is the droplet, so we uh, consider the reflection and then we obtain uh, and then we obtain the limit set of this reflection group. Uh, so, but we take only one half of this group, so it's the, the group is function, uh, and uh, so on the, this red circle, uh, uh, then we have this uh, 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 circular triangle, uh, call it pi, and then uh, the rest is the reflection, and, uh, and I call this the, uh, the, the modular reflection group, group uh, uh, generated by reflections in uh, the three circles, and we consider this as a group uh, as a, a group of atomorphisms uh, uh, in the uh, in the disk rather than in the plane. And I will use also the uh, 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 what I call reflection map uh, as associated to this uh, uh, not only group but actually to to, to the fundamental uh, uh, region pi. Uh, so it's a map defined in the complement of this, uh, of this uh, fundamental domain. So it's simply the reflection in the chorus. So it's a piecewise map. So in each, uh, the complement consists of three parts, and in each uh, part we take the reflection in the corresponding circle. So I'll call this the uh, uh, reflection map. Uh, and then if we take a, uh, a map from the circular triangle onto deltoid, and use Schwartz reflection principle, then you will see that this conformal map will extend to a conformal map from the unit disk onto uh, the tiling region. And it will conjugate the, uh, the, the uh, reflection map of the uh, modular group with the deltoid group. So group generated by reflections. Okay. Uh, and now I want to compute the, uh, uh, the so-called welding map of the, uh, of the uh, welding map of the, uh, uh, of the singular uh, curve, of this yellow curve. So what's a welding map? Uh, 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 so if you have a Jordan domain, so then you can map the unit disk onto the in uh, uh, bounded uh, uh, domain uh, and then the exterior of the unit disk onto the exterior uh, uh, domain. And uh, then, uh, uh, but on the boundaries, so we get uh, uh, a map from the circle to gamma and also from the circle to gamma. And then the, we, uh, uh, so we have a homeomorphism uh, of the circle, the homeomorphism alpha. So this is called the welding homeomorphism. Uh, and uh, in our case, the welding homeomorphism, uh, uh, so the interior is the, uh, uh, when we map it to the disk, so then we'll get the, uh, uh, the action of this uh, reflection group. 
So uh, we, uh, or rather we have the re reflection map. Uh, and uh, I'll write this from lambda to lambda. So this map goes from the limit set of the, uh, this Kleinian group, reflection group to the, uh, to, it's the circle, but in, in, our, uh, in this particular case, it's, uh, uh, so it's the, um, it should be the limit set. In uh, this particular case, it's the circle. Uh, and then uh, 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 the welding homeomorphism conjugates this to uh, the uh, map Z bar squared defined on the circle which uh, we think of as the Julia set, which is the Julia set of the polynomial. And uh, uh, then both maps are uh, uh, two carvers uh, uh, reversing orientation. So we have three fixed points in both cases, and uh, these fixed points re uh, determine Markov partitions. So we have a topological uh, Markov chain so with this matrix. So we just match the itineraries with respect to this Markov partition, and that gives us the, the, uh, the, this alpha. So this homeomorphism alpha is known as the Minkowski question mark function. So it's uh, for, uh, well, uh, important uh, object in number theory. Uh, and uh, it, it, so it, it maps the Faraday uh, uh, fractions to dyadic. Uh, so what's a Faraday fraction? So you, on, uh, uh, on the unit interval, so that would be you start with uh, the end point 0 over 1 and 1 over 1, and the middle point, you add numerators and denominators. You get 1 half, but then the next uh, points would be, you add, uh, uh, okay, so 1 third, so it's the middle point in this uh, uh, geometry, so uh, middle point between 0 and 1 half. You add numerators and denominators. And that's precisely so the, uh, uh, so uh, if you consider the, uh, a tangent, so, uh, so these fourth circles, so that's the, the, the point. And you map this to dyadic numbers because that's what you get uh, uh, so, uh, under the dynamic z bar squared of the circle. And under modular group, you get uh, Faraday fraction. So this is called Minkowski question mark function. And so let me summarize this discussion. So I'm saying that the uh, sigma, the, the Schwartz reflection, is a hybrid of, uh, of the reflection uh, of the reflection uh, map uh, and the polynomial uh, pi uh, 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 in the following sense. So we consider the uh, uh, manifold, which so we take the closed unit disk and the closed exterior unit disk, and we identify this boundary using this. Uh, Minkowski question mark function, then you will get a topological sphere, and we claim that there exists a unique conformal structure consistent with the, uh, uh, so with the charts given by uh, so the unit disk, open unit disk and uh, exterior disk, and uh, then we uniformize, and then uh, uh, so unit disk becomes the tiling domain, the exterior disk will become the uh, uh, based in attraction to infinity uh, of, of the Schwartz reflection. And uh, the limit set of the group, uh, which is identified now with the Julia set of the polynomial, uh, will uh, map to the singular set gamma, the yellow curve. And uh, the uh, fundamental domain triangle of pi will map onto the droplet k onto the deltoid. And uh, the dynamics uh, given by uh, this um, reflection uh, uh, map and uh, the polynomial, uh, when you glue them together, they, after uniformization, they will produce precisely the, uh, the Schwartz reflection. So that's what uh, I mean by hybrid. Uh, okay, so second example. Uh, uh, so we'll uh, consider, so the theory that I describe, uh, or example that I described, so that uh, gener generalizes uh, without any changes to the class of asteroids. So asteroids are a, a quadrature domain which are, which, uh, uh, are given as uh, the image of the exterior unit disk 
uh, under a univalent map of the form. Uh, uh, so the form, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, well, like polynomial, but uh, so the last coefficient is one over n. Uh, uh, and if you take the derivative, so the derivative will have, uh, uh, will have, uh, 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 so the coefficient, uh, the last coefficient of modulus one, uh, and if f is univalent, it means that all roots uh, uh, will be on the unit circle. So uh, the image uh, curve will, uh, will have n plus one cusps. And uh, if there are no uh, double points, then the curve is called astro an asteroid. So this is an example of an asteroid. And then you use uh, uh, a uh, well, corresponding function group, uh, a reflection group, and uh, uh, you get uh, the generalized Minkowski question mark function, and everything uh, uh, works uh, the same. The only difference is, of course, the groups now come with the modular, or with moduli. Uh, so uh, the uh, simplest example, so that's the all uh, uh, asteroids uh, with four cusps. Uh, and uh, the parameter space is uh, the interval uh, from two third to uh, uh, minus two third to two third. And uh, uh, these are known as Talbot's curves. Uh, uh, so d don't pay attention to the ellipses here. But uh, 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 so this is the asteroid, and at the extreme point we get uh, uh, as, well, the singular Talbot curve. So an asteroid, uh, or the limit of this asteroid with, uh, with the double point. Um, and I want to, st so this is the example that I want to study. So I want to say that uh, uh, we cannot use a function model anymore, uh, and uh, we'll go quasi-function, and then in the limit, so uh, uh, we'll get accidental parabolics, and at the same time, we'll uh, get uh, polynomials, uh, uh, not z bar squared, not from the main deltoid, well, in the, well but uh, more general polynomial. Uh, so, uh, so that's the critical Talbot, uh, uh, Talbots, and again, you can uh, figure out uh, what kind of uh, so, well, uh, uh, object you, uh, um, uh, you want to, to weld, uh, to, so what kind of polynomial you want to weld to, uh, to what kind of group. Uh, so uh, this simple picture, so you reflect in the deltoid, uh, so in the, Tal uh, in the Talbot, uh, critical Talbot curves, and uh, it, well, that's the first pre-images. But what you see is that uh, uh, you have three triangles that uh, map onto uh, one half of the, uh, of the droplet, uh, and uh, then you do the same, and, well, and also three triangles that map onto the second half. And then uh, again, uh, morally thinking of this trans quasi conformal surgery, you obtain uh, uh, well a topological uh, polynomial with uh, then two critical finite critical points, as well as a critical uh, point at infinity. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's the statement. So the preimage, uh, so the this part of uh, the reflection extends to a map uh, uh, to a three cover of the uh, Riemann sphere, which is topologically equivalent. Uh, now the polynomial, there's only one polynomial uh, that, well, up to a conju Monbiot conjugation, uh, 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 that has uh, two critical uh, fixed points. Uh, and uh, this was discovered by uh, Sarason. Uh, so it, you can check that uh, this polynomial. So uh, uh, this polynomial is remarkable that uh, it has uh, uh, seven fixed points. You can see this from the picture. So the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the four cusps. So they are uh, fixed points in the reflection. Uh, 
of, uh, then uh, the double point that gives the fifth fixed point, and then the uh, two critical uh, uh, super attracting fixed points that we created uh, by the surgery. And uh, altogether, we get uh, seven fixed points for a cubic polynomial in a complete contradiction to the main uh, theorem of algebra, right? But we are considering polynomials with uh, complex conjugation. And uh, there are, it cannot be more than seven. Uh, so it's a theorem of uh, Havinson Sviatek. Uh, so, and uh, simply by Fatou count, you uh, bound the number of attracting points and then combine this with Leffert's fixed point theorem. So you get seven. And Sarason uh, uh, discovered this polynomial to show that uh, you can reach this bound. And the, there was a conjecture, uh, Crawford Sarason conjecture, that, uh, uh, that uh, for any n there is a polynomial uh, with uh, n minus one super attracting finite fixed points. So that was proved by. Gier, who derived this from uh, just he constructed topological polynomial, used Thurston's theory, uh, uh, combined uh, with uh, well, Levi Bernstein theorems that there are no, well, that uh, there are no obstructing uh, uh, multi curves, so, and, uh, and that's why, uh, and therefore, topological polynomial will produce uh, polynomial with these properties. Uh, so, our approach is very different, so we uh, uh, so we construct uh, uh, this uh, uh, extreme elastroid and then perform uh, the surgery. Uh, so it, it, uh, it, uh, the existence, so, uh, so uh, instead of uh, uh, Thurston's theory, so we uh, uh, use uh, Crane-Milman theory about the existence. All you need to do, so you embed, uh, embed embed uh, uh, asteroids into the space of uh, univalent functions. And uh, this is, uh, again, a subspace of a, a linear space uh, of analytic functions. And it's a compact set. If you fix the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the degree of the polynomial and the extremal points uh, uh, will be precisely uh, uh, these polynomials. And this works for rational function. I'll show you an example how to, uh, so uh, what it looks, uh, uh, so what uh, uh, Kofut Sarason rational functions are. Uh, okay, so, but uh, now the picture uh, is the same. Uh, so you get uh, uh, decomposition of the plane, so into uh, uh, the tiling region and uh, 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 the uh, singular, uh, the singular set, gamma, the uh, closure of uh, uh, cusps and double points, and uh, the basin of attraction to infinity. And the, this picture, the uh, uh, right bottom picture, is the Julia set of the Sarason polynomial. Uh, and uh, uh, well, and now, uh, okay, so that's one part. So we change the polynomial compared to our discussion of the deltoid. Now we'll change the group. So uh, uh, of course, uh, even in the case of the deltoid, we, uh, 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 we could uh, change the polynomials. We can take any polynomial in the, uh, such that the Julia set is a Jordan curve, and on the other hand, take any quasi function group, because we take only one half of of the uh, uh, regular set of the group and one half of the, uh, uh, of the Fatou set of the polynomial and glue them together. So, uh, and then when you uh, go uh, quasi function so then uh, you can reach the, well, so that's the group that uh, uh, will be uh, uh, welding uh, to, to the Sarason polynomial, so uh, the, uh, so it's self-explanatory, -exp right? So you have uh, four circles, but now uh, you have the tangent points, and then uh, the white uh, curve here is the um, is the Julius, uh, is the limit set, and um, but now we have only one invariant uh, component, so the outside uh, uh, region. And, but we can still uh, define the reflection map uh, 
uh, uh, which is a three cover on prime ends uh, uh, of this uh, invariant component. And uh, uh, well, and then uh, 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 the uh, reflection uh, map is a cross between uh, 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 between uh, the reflection map in the Kleinian group uh, and the polynomial uh, in its basin of attraction to infinity. So more precisely, so there's a homeomorphism from the Julia set, from the limit set of the group to the Julia set of the polynomial, uh, which conjugates the reflection map and the polynomial. And uh, then uh, you, have, you can introduce a conformal structure in this union, and uh, so, and the situation is the same as in the deltoid. So uh, that's the illustration. So for uh, 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 the top picture, so the top picture is the uh, uh, the case of the uh, Schwartz reflection. So you uh, consider the outside of the uh, Julia set and the inside of the limit set of the group. So you put them together. And the welding is, uh, again, the, the Minkowski question mark function. So only uh, you apply this question mark function to external angles. OK, so that's. Uh, and uh, OK, you can uh, 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 consider other examples. Uh, so I'll just, you can, uh, the droplet now is uh, a deltoid minus a disk. Right, so that's the union of uh, two quadrature domains, the disk and the exterior of the deltoid, and you reflect, and that's what you get, and this is the, uh, uh, right, so the deltoid is minus, uh, del so key is the droplet is the deltoid minus the open disk, and the reflection is a cross of the rational function, uh, so of uh, degree three, uh, in its basin of attraction to infinity, and the reflection map of Apollonian gasket. Uh, um, okay, so that's the, um, uh, the Julia set of the rational function, and uh, this is the um, uh, limit set of the uh, uh, reflection group, so that's called Apollonian gasket. Uh, and uh, R is, uh, um, uh, is a rational function that fixes four critical points. And, uh, and those are very, sp you, you can't have, so it fixes all critical points. It's a uh, degree three rational function, so there are 3D minus two critical points, four critical points, and it fixes them all. So that's the analog of the, uh, uh, of the uh, crawford saras one polynomial, but only for rational functions. So this is better than Thurston's theorem because with Thurston's theorem, uh, okay, so the rational case is uh, 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 well, several levels more difficult than the uh, limit set, uh, the polynomial set. So where you have uh, effect, well, okay. Uh, okay, so now the last uh, uh, example is, uh, well, the circle and the cardioid and um, uh, so I repeat, uh, repeat the slides. So we're considering uh, the union of these joint uh, quadrature domains, the cardioid and the exterior of the disk. Uh, and uh, um, uh, well, and um, 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 uh, so let's take the disk to uh, centered at, the, at zero. Uh, so car uh, let me uh, first say, uh, well, just a uh, few words about the reflection and the cardioid. So we have a circle, uh, the, out, the exterior disk. So we uh, reflect in the circle there. And then we have a cardioid inside the, the, the disk. And we reflect in the cardioid. Uh, it's very, so we know very well so what reflection in the circle uh, uh, looks like. But the reflection in the cardioid, so that's what uh, 
uh, we, you need to use conformal map. And uh, it's only quadratic polynomial, so it's pretty easy, so you have to solve only square, uh, quadratic equations. Uh, and uh, so the, I use, I fix the cardio, uh, so, uh, which is the image of the polynomial w over two minus w squared over four as, so that gives the cardioid uh, precisely as in the Mandelbrot set. Uh, so then the reflection uh, uh, at infinity behaves like constant over z squared, so zero is the only critical point, and at this point, the critical value is infinity. And uh, so the, uh, if you only consider If you only consider the uh, dynamical system uh, reflection in the cardioid, so you end up with, uh, so the tile is the uh, exterior of the, uh, the complement of the cardioid, so it's ramified. The style is ramified already. Uh, and we're trying to find group structures in the non-ramified situation. Ramified case is very interesting, so you would expect uh, elliptic elements, but uh, it's not what um, uh, well I'm talking uh, today. Uh, so, um, uh, so uh, if you consider the pre-images of the cardioid, uh, so that will get uh, cardioids of uh, of of a g a size uh, given here. Uh, uh, so that's all you need to know about uh, the reflection in the cardioid. Uh, so that's the picture. So uh, uh, we choose the case when the uh, the disk is centered at the uh, critical uh, point uh, of the reflection in the cardioid. So the uh, if we choose the center here, so then uh, the orbit of the critical point will be so zero will go to infinity under uh, the cardioid reflection, and then infinity will go back to zero, uh, reflecting in the circle, right? So we obtain, uh, well, we get a critically a finite situation. So which means that tiles will not uh, uh, ram uh, be ramified. Okay, so let's draw the first uh, uh, tiles. So what we see here uh, is this, again the deltoid structure except that we have uh, these uh, deltoids uh, uh, well, uh, with common uh, cusps. So we continue and uh, you end up with this ugly slug uh, in this picture. So uh, uh, that's the, uh, okay, so uh, uh, the disc minus uh, cardioid is the, uh, it, it, is the droplets, the first tile, then you see the pre-images, and, uh, uh, and this is all colored in blue, so by mistake, so this should be a different color, so that's the residual set. And uh, as I said, we have the deltoid structure, so again, by surgery, we can transform, uh, uh, so this uh, a three cover into two cover with a critical point, and uh, this will be a fixed critical point, so that's what we think of as infinity. So to, then we get a rational function of degree two with a uh, fixed critical point is a polynomial, so uh, uh, some way in this, uh, 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 in this uh, droplet, you see you have uh, uh, infinity. So the infinity in the sense that you have a polynomial, so when you send it to infinity. Uh, well, okay, so if you send it to infinity, so this slug becomes the beautiful butterfly, right? So you, you, now you're inverting the circle. And, uh, well, and the polynomial is, of course, uh, z squared minus uh, one, so this uh, should be basilica uh, uh, curve. And, um, uh, and so the reflection, so the conclusion is the following. So I'm describing the third situation every time, so the meaning of the hybrid or is, is different. Uh, so uh, sigma is a, a cross uh, between uh, the reflection map in the 
uh, modular reflection group. Uh, and uh, so with the, uh, with the polynomial z uh, bar squared minus one, uh, and uh, the welding is given again by the question mark function. So what you need to do, you need to consider the circle lamination uh, uh, given by external angles uh, so on this uh, basilica. So I call it lambda. You take the preimage of this lamination under uh, the, the Minkowski function and then, uh, 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 then consider the factor map. And that this is how you glue together the uh, exterior of the uh, of the, uh, sorry, the field in Julia set of this uh, polynomial with the, uh, 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 so with the reflection group. Uh, well, uh, the case when we have, uh, so this uh, 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 cardioid inside a disk, so this, uh, uh, this um, uh, family of, uh, a dynamical systems is a one complex parameter, so it's the center of the disk. We choose the disk uh, tangent to the cardioid, so let's look at the parameter space. Uh, and so uh, we need to exclude uh, the half line from minus infinity to minus one twelfths. So we, it's only because for these values of the, uh, if you take the center there, so then you get two tangent points and we want just one. Uh, 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 then we define uh, the droplet as uh, the closed uh, disk sent maximal closed disk centered at uh, at this point p minus the the, uh, uh, the, the this fixed cardioid and uh, uh, and the interior of the droplet is connected so uh, it will be uh, doubly uh, so it will have two components if uh, 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 so in this uh, P is in this region. Uh, and uh, then we define the set P, uh, uh, this calligraphic P, if the tiles don't ramify, if the critical point never land on the, uh, on the, on the droplet. So it's the same as saying that uh, the singular set is uh, 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 so uh, uh, this is an illustration. So we take a different tangent uh, cardioid uh, in this disk, and then that's the, uh, the, the singular set. And uh, this time uh, it's, we have a disconnected set, so that's not uh, in uh, our sp uh, set P. And this is the case when we have two, uh, uh, two tangent points, and then we disregard this situation because it's a in a different uh, 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 Teichmuller space. Uh, and, uh, okay, so forget about this. And then uh, uh, you look at the parameter space. Uh, so if the first uh, parapuzzle is when uh, is this uh, uh, exterior of this cardioid, because if we land outside of this, so then they, uh, so we land on the, after the first step we, uh, uh, um, uh, we get ramification of tiles. So the close-up picture is this, and then uh, uh, if we ramify, uh, so, uh, so that's a detail at uh, point uh, 3 over 16. So this is precisely this Mandel bar set. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so the guess is the following. Uh, I, uh, so I'm, uh, this is what we see from the picture. So some of this, uh, well, for polynomials like the case that we descri I described, so this basilica, so this is uh, uh, not difficult to prove, but in general, so there are uh, quite serious difficulties. And uh, in not uh, so in particular because this Mandelbar set is much uh, less understood. It's uh, non-locally connected, but. I mean, it's, it's a more difficult beast. Uh, and, uh, and, well, okay, so this is what we see, and uh, I uh, uh, say it's a guess. So for any uh, P, for any center of the, uh, of the disk in this uh, uh, circle in the cardioid uh, dynamics, so there exists a C, uh, such that the corresponding Schwartz reflection is a cross of uh, the reflection map in the uh, uh, in the um, 
modular group and the polynomial z bar squared plus c, uh, it, uh, considering in the field in Julia said. The welding is a factor of question mark function as explained earlier, and this, uh, uh, the correspondence is a bijection or maybe a homeomorphism from the set P to or one third of the, so you need to exclude the main uh, deltoid from the Mandler bar set and take one third of it. So that's the picture of the uh, one third of the Mandler bar set excluding the deltoid and this is uh, 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 what you get by applying uh, the uh, question mark function, should be what you should get by applying question mark function to laminations, so to laminations. And that's, uh, that's it, so thank you very much. Yes, right, so, uh, and that's uh, an excellent uh, question, and I wanted to ask it myself, but then I decided I ran out of time. So let me show you, uh, nevertheless, uh, but, uh, I, okay, so my last slide. Okay, I need to go from the beginning. Ah. Okay, so uh, can, can somebody explain? The, so this is uh, the, what you get deltoid. That's the bare slice of hexagonal uh, torus. They look identical. Well, <laughs> why is that? Okay, so uh, uh, what we plan to do, we want to consider uh, the uh, deltoid, well, the disk inside the deltoid. So in, the, in that case, uh, you have a, a pentagons. So you get... Uh, not only one group, but a whole, uh, uh, so you get pentagons. On the other hand, you get, uh, you get uh, uh, polynomials, so slice of polynomials versus uh, slice of pentagons. And uh, then there's an interesting uh, um, uh, well, correspondences that arise there. Okay, I don't, I cannot, uh, so I wanted to find uh, a model so that would uh, give your, uh, so in, in this picture we, we have just one group, so we don't have uh, any space of groups, so. uh, but uh, we, we change polynomials. But uh, uh, you can go the other way around, so in the case of deltoids you keep the same polynomial but you change the, oh sorry, the case of asteroids. Okay, so that's the, the, the better, okay, so. Uh, that's a mystery to me. Okay, so maybe I also show that if you look, uh, so the, the curves that appear in this series of these uh, hybrids of Julia sets, limit sets, they are not the only interesting fractals here. So if you look very closely at the droplets, so then, and it's the, uh, uh, in the Coulomb gas model, so that's the equilibrium, support of the equilibrium measure. If you look closely, then you see uh, well, uh, random curves like this, so they are not as pretty as the dynamical curves, but some people like them. Uh, so uh, that's probably. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, the level set of the uh, potential of the uh, electric field in Coulomb gas model. Okay, so that's a SLE four. No, I, I, I find uh, uh, it's amusing that uh, in the same uh, uh, topic you get uh, uh, Kleinian groups, Julia sets and SLEs, all in one picture. So that's all part of it. Oh, yes, yes, correct. Uh, no, well, yes, they are holder, okay, uh, but not for four, not for four, not for four. Oh, sorry, I ran out of time. 